A North Carolina man accused of trying to impress a woman by impersonating a three-star army general and picking up a woman in a chartered helicopter plans to plead guilty and admit that he was sane during the incident. The bizarre case against Christian Desgru unfolded after authorities say he unexpectedly had a charter helicopter pilot land on a soccer field last November at the sprawling corporate campus of SAS Institute in Cary, North Carolina. Wearing a military battle uniform, Desgru told a security officer who confronted him that he was there to pick up a female employee to take her to Fort Bragg for a classified briefing authorized by President Donald Trump, according to federal agents. After he was charged with a federal count of pretending to be a military officer, his attorney requested that the 58-year-old undergo a psychological evaluation. A Homeland Security agent previously testified that investigators suspected Desgru was mentally ill. Desgru was examined at a federal prison facility in California, and a psychiatric report was filed under seal with the court in May, according to court records. It's not clear exactly what the report says, but his attorney wrote in a court filing last Thursday that his client will not object to the conclusion that he was legally sane at the time. The defense attorney, Andrew McCoppin, also wrote that his client plans to plead guilty to the charge against him. Prosecutors say the charge against Desgru carries a maximum of three years in prison, but McCoppin argues in court documents that sentencing guidelines call for no more than six months. Desgru has already been in federal custody for about five months, so McCoppin is seeking his release pending sentencing. Share this article Share a competency hearing and arraignment is scheduled for next week. It was around sunset November 6, 2017, when Desgru stepped out of the helicopter wearing a full military uniform displaying three stars that implied a rank of lieutenant general in the army in combat patches, authorities say. Homeland Security Special Agent Tony Bell testified earlier this year that Desgru saluted security officers and they saluted him back. But the backstory was false, and authorities say Desgru later admitted that he never served in the military. Bell testified that a female acquaintance of Desgru expected him to arrive in a car for a visit, but instead they went on a 30-minute helicopter ride around Raleigh. The agent said Desgru wanted to pursue a romantic relationship with his friend of 20 years, but the woman is married. The pilot confirmed he flew Desgru, who described himself as a former military pilot who flew Apache helicopters during the Gulf War, and his female companion, and revealed that his passenger even told him he wanted to take a trip to the White House. The woman and the pilot appear to have been swept up in Desgru's strange behavior and were not charged. The episode was concerning enough that a joint terrorism task force joined the investigation. TSAS has 14,000 employees worldwide and is among the largest businesses based in North Carolina. Desgru, a native of Chile, has lived in the Raleigh area since 1978 and recently became a U.S. citizen. He worked out of his home as a car mechanic. He is also facing charges for unrelated alleged crimes, including assault on a female, misuse of the 911 system, and violating a domestic violence protection order, fleeing arrest, and stalking.